speak up. You gotta face the audience. Sorry, I had to take over for a minute. Mm-hmm. If the entire train line is 729, <laughs> you can't do your movie. Um, yeah, that tray is being So talk to him about how you got your expressions. Um, no, we didn't. He's closer. You keep that initiative. The four W plus two hundred twenty subtracted by hundred thirty is equal to seven hundred and ten, which is the total that we would need. So yeah, I know that we have to subtract the number. So what we did. guys they drew a map on their poster and uh, technically and I and nobody could judge this but I think your math is backwards like, which is fine mathematically but DC I think is over to the right whereas Chicago is over to the left like the map that they have yeah. up there so if you look at their map they just switched the order which is fine because how the problem described it they didn't have a map unless they looked at it that's where they got their variable so does anybody have questions at this point a lot of us were having issues on the master. So that's why I wanted to stop. Ella? Because, um, yeah, because the distance from Washington to DC is 30, 30 miles less than twice the distance from Washington to DC. So Ella's confused because you wrote it under, but you weren't trying to do it on both sides, right? You were just no. doing it. Yeah. So, what was Aubrey actually doing there, or what was the group actually doing? Grant? Combining 
like terms. Remember they so all they did was do the subtraction to combine like terms. Any other questions? Or are they good? subbed it back in, found all their other values. So, Annika, Zoe, and Caitlin are up now with problem B of our counties. Up in Maine, if you live away from the city, they say you're from the county. That's what it means when you're like away from the city. Yeah, so, little interesting fact for you that I only know that my sister was when I used to live there. <laughs> it's a cool place to go like in the summer. We were very time taking with that question. Alright, do you guys need anything else? You need to set up. What is all that stuff you said? Some of you talk to us about that. See? It's not just me.
the minus 6 come from? So Florida has a minus 6. You guys skipped your first one because this one's really cheap. So, what I want to make sure we understand, because guys, I'm, you'll see these problems again in, in as much. The first thing they thought of, I'm going out on a limb and saying hopefully, x times 2 minus 5. Pennsylvania, what they have in blue. We, we solved this problem last week, but I think a lot of us are only maybe paying attention. Florida has one less than Pennsylvania. So then they said, okay, and x times 2 minus 5 minus 1. They combined all this to make what's in that set of parentheses. Two sets of the x times 2 and a minus 5 and a minus 5 minus 1. No, wait a minute. Minus 5, minus 5, minus 1. So, be careful. Yeah, you're missing something up there right now. And then they also have Oregon, which is their X. <laughs> Working with a smart board's weird. This is, I, I should realize that we need to do more practice on this. You want to skip some steps and talk through this? Because you guys can talk it all over. You can stop typing the smart board. What they do to get the five x minus eleven? By the way, these will be hung up for student my conferences. They'll be in the hallway, so if you would like to use your poster, or your presentation, or anything, they'll be in the hallway. I did not get it done this weekend because I had to fix my system while it's hard. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, which one are you? Sorry. 
ignore this. Well, I'm going to clear, and let's see if you guys did it any differently than that. Yeah. I like the whole thing. Well, and it's a Mustang, so, you know, that's what I'm going to get. I'm broken. All right, attention and respect. For what? You said that one. I said, which one are you? You said that one. Well, Bill, you said that one. Yes.
as they had to keep going. You guys are good. Mm -hmm. I love that you're allowing this to be a great example for us. Because they hadn't combined like terms, you have to then give each subtraction, or like each number that you need to get rid of, its own step. And it takes a bit longer. Now, what are you guys building? Uh, I need to one. Okay, yeah. So then they combined their Fs. They got their 3F. Yeah. Everybody, very good presentations. So, I have a couple things to give back to you guys, and one of which is something that I did not end up finishing grading. I'm going to slide this down for a minute for anybody at home. So, I got about halfway through grading our uh, mini masteries that I was uh, a little bit apprehensive when I gave it to you guys, and for good reason. A lot of us quickly showed me that we're faltering on some basic skills from the equation solving. So as you get this back, I need you to look at this, and almost nobody had right answers. We, and because there's so many steps in the process, almost everybody ended up making some mistakes somewhere, but our mistakes are rather different. Some of us distributed just fine. Whereas then we went to do balanced pairs, we got goose though. Some of us didn't distribute just fine, and then we went to do balanced pairs, we did that just fine. Um, so, different errors for different reasons. Everybody needs to get out a clean sheet of paper. Everybody needs out a clean piece of paper. If you do not turn this back in, it's a progressing. Nobody has a grade right now. If you don't turn this back in, it's a progression. Yeah, but I don't know that this will actually go on this quarter. Oh. What are you What are you shooting for? That I would like get upset that she doesn't have paper, and then you do a lot. Well, I do. I have stacks of paper all over the place. I have one stack that she can almost reach right now. She's sitting. If she like thought hard enough and used the fork, she could probably take it all. All right. So, yeah. Were you absent at any point? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, some of you, I was notating exactly where your mistakes were, but then I was just starting to get kind of frustrated and realize that we were going to need to go over this all together. So then, I'd almost rather you have to find your mistakes. Because if somebody tells you, like, hey, you forgot to put the regular cat back on the whatever, that's easy, right? And you don't really learn from that. If you're looking at, and I was referencing, like, working on the car, if you're looking at it and you have to figure out what happened, then that can be really helpful for, for your learning process. So on the first problem here, the first thing that needs done is what? Eight. Okay. 
Everybody rewrite this on your clean sheet of paper. Write the beginning problem. We always start with the beginning problem, so I'm going to wait. I'll give you time. You are turning in this paper that you're completing right now with the original master view taken in that will be how this turns into a master by turning in this paper. And you hopefully won't have to do anything outside of class. Just turn this back in, show me that you worked along with us in class, and you're good. The first thing we do exactly what Keith was saying, we distribute. So draw the arrows from the 5 to the x and from the 5 to the negative 2. The negative 7 to the 1 and the negative 7 to the negative x. Those arrows remind you that there are multiple multiplications. So this becomes 5x, and if you need to write it out, this is 5 times negative 2, which becomes a negative 10, and we still have a negative 9. Questions on the left side? On the right, do that distribution. A lot of us goof this up right here. Negative seven times negative x makes positive 7x. Or some of you wrote it out as minus negative 7, and you minus a negative is plus a positive. So this becomes positive. That is one first mistake. Negative times negative, you guys look up there. Like it's literally on the wall, the negative times a negative is a positive. We'll work in green indication. Then, what do we do? Favorite little three word that tell me to make my life easy. Combine like terms. So we have 5x and negative 19. I'm going to switch this order around just to make my life easy. 7x and negative 7. Same thing, I just switched the order on the right side. I just like my variable values to come first. Now, I have variables and constants on both sides. How do I deal with that? Because I can't combine like terms really because they're not on the same side. Yeah, Emily just mouthed it. Don't know why she doesn't want to raise her hand and share that knowledge with the class. Do balanced pairs next. What balanced pair do you want to do?
Six work. Questions on that? Now, the second question, guys, I want to encourage you. Think about those test taking strategies. If a question is hard, skip it. Come back to it because other problems might jog your memory for the heart. Question one was harder than question two. Question one was harder than question two. Let's just be honest. There's no distribution over here. There's no negatives over here. Question two is easy. So if question one was a struggle, you should have skipped it and then came back to it. So if we, here, what do we need to do first again? Uh, Distribute. Draw your arrows. We get two times x, so two x, plus two times one, so just two. And guys, if you want, I used to write my multiplications up here to look at like each little piece that was made. Then plus the 6 equal to 20 minus 3 times the x. Nothing happened on the right side. Are we good here? We distributed. Now we combine like terms. I believe that should be quickly in all of our heads. Now there is a better choice for balanced pairs here. We've got four choices, but there is a best choice. Leah? Uh, can we do minus 2x? But then you're you can. Yes, to answer your question, can we? We can. However, I don't like negatives. Right? Negatives are more tricky. If I add 3x instead then I get positive x's. So up to you, but in my opinion, that add 3x is better. So 5x plus 8 equals 20. Oh. Yeah, subtract the 8 from both sides. x equals 12. And yes, this is why you are absolutely allowed to use calculators. Now, a couple people, and I forget if it was this class or the other class, just told me, okay, x is 12 fifths. Sweet, you, you could, I mean, actually, if I don't tell you you have to get it to a certain form, that's right, that is your x. But if I try to simplify a little bit, well, yeah, 2 and 2 fifths, or if we go decimal, 2.4. Questions on that? A lot of us did pretty well with the equation math problem. If you did not get that one, go back and check your mistakes. It should be, because we're going to skip over it, we don't have the time, x should be negative 2. So the positive what x actually is, is negative 2. Like the positive x is negative 2. On the back, this should have been an easy problem. This should be a one step, done, solve, move on. What do I do to turn a fraction into 1? To be 
and see if it helps us. What do we do to turn a fraction into one? What do you think, Mr. Uh, shoot, I'm lucky. This, so this is Jeff from the Academy. Um, what do we do to turn a fraction into one? You want to help these guys out? Turn it into one? Yeah, that four fifths. Oh, okay. We'd rather have one X. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. No thoughts yet? They're stuck on one anymore. A couple of them have thoughts, but they're just staring at me like I don't want to answer. Well, some people said there's some brain cells. Alex? Ooh, you got tangled up in your thoughts. I heard you start going down there with it. Right back. We want to multiply because that's easier. Multiply, multiply you want to produce a one. But that's actually a math term for this. They actually, this is so important, they actually label it. So once you get up in high school, we're going to reference all this. But what, what's the fancy way to call it? The multiplicative inverse. So we, we don't use that term yet, but multiplicative inverse is another name. Reciprocal, guys. So if we multiply, what's the reciprocal of four fifths? Five fourths. We want to do that on both sides. Eight times five? Forty over four. Please make sure you're showing this out. So x is greater than or equal now. Well, 40 divided by 4, I could simplify that. What's 40 divided by 4? 10. And that's it. And we've been doing this through our practice work. So guys, what this really told me. A lot of you aren't given any respect to your practice work. These skills, the distributive property, multiplying by the reciprocal, these skills have been in your practice work. And you can be honest with yourself, right? You're in seventh grade now. You know if you've given the attention to your practice work that you should have. And what sucks is there's a point where you have to be honest with yourself and say, I got myself here. Right? We've had months of practice. And if you have been like laying back, like, oh man, seventh grade, homework problems don't get checked for accuracy. Great. I'll just slop some crap down and then it'll look like I did stuff. And I didn't really think this through. I copied my partners and it's all good. It's not all good. You're at the point now where you don't understand these basic skills. You've got some catching up to do. So there's no new homework tonight. You need to go into Schoology, check your homework answers. I'm going to go in and make sure that I have everything uploaded, and if not, I'll get the other ones up. If you have questions and things you need help with, it is your responsibility to ask for them. So finish up these revisions on this paper, staple it, turn it back in whenever you get a chance to. I will take questions on this paper if you guys ask me about it in the end of class one. So from that quiz, I will catch you guys later. I am not. We're but not blocked. They aren't. If the classes aren't going up.